Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. Stochastics RSI was developed by Tushar Chande and Stanley Kroll and it was first introduced in their 1994 book The New Technical Trader. Stoke RSI is an oscillator that measures the level of the RSI relative to its high-low range over a set period of time. And this makes it an indicator of an indicator. So let's go ahead and load it up here on this chart for Bank of America BAC here at StockCharts.com. If you scroll down to the chart attributes area, in the bottom, click in the indicators box, and then scroll down to Stochastics RSI. And the standard setting is 14. It's going to give you a lot of signals. So if you would like to smooth it out, make this parameter larger, and the lines won't be so jagged. Okay, you really don't want to set this one much quicker then 14. So let's go ahead and click update. And as you can see, Stochastics RSI at a 14-day standard setting has a reading of zero. That means it is extremely oversold right here. Okay. Sto RSI ranges from zero to one. Okay. The important things to remember are it is overbought when it is above 0.8 and it's considered oversold when it is below 0.2. The other things to look for are center line crossovers because anything above 0.5 is considered bullish and anything below 0.5 is considered bearish. This entire time this is forming a bearish head and left shoulder, right shoulder, two right shoulders, bearish chart pattern. When it broke below neckline support in this area, it fell hard. Okay, so this was telling you it was below 0.5 and it was bearish long before. It was telling you it was bearish right here. Okay, before it even formed the first right shoulder. Okay, so that was a early warning that this stock looked like it was weakening and was going to fall, especially on, you know, combine STO RSI with chart patterns, volume studies. Okay, right here, it breaks up above 0.5. It becomes bullish at this point right here. That was before a nice reversal candle formed a cup and handle and a nice reversal candle at the bottom of the handle here. And when it started breaking above all this resistance, volume picked up. And on this day right here, it closed at the highest close on the chart right up in this area above all levels of resistance. And that's exactly what you want to see is huge volume, increasing volume as a stock becomes bullish above 0.5 and as it breaks above old resistance levels and forms a bullish chart pattern. Now let's look at the buy signals Stoke RSI has given on this chart. Okay, remember anything below 0.5 is bearish. So any crossover above 0.5 like right here is bullish and the stock goes up. Here's another one. It becomes very oversold after this pullback. Nice reversal candle. Good volume at the bottom and it runs for three days. The buy signal comes right here when it crosses up through 0.5 and that was right before the stock ran for four days. Okay then it had support at 0.5 dip just below it stayed above it this entire time as it runs breaks out to new highs on this chart on four or five days of really good volume and it, this is it's doing the stair step thing here where it goes up a little pull back up a little pull back up a little pull back gap and run Okay, but he's all bull 
until right about here there's some early warning in this area that he's dipping below 0.5 and then when he crashes down through it he becomes very oversold and your next buy signal comes here just before the next run when it crosses back up through 0.5 just before it breaks out above all resistance here on huge volume this day right here was the highest close on this chart on really good volume and then he ran for two or three more days on very strong volume and just kept running okay here was early warning that it was starting to have trouble with falling through the 0.5 line becomes very oversold below 0.2 and remains bearish now let's look at the bearish signals that stoke rsi has given on this chart for ford okay right here it falls to 0.5 it bounces right here it crashes down through it and the stock goes down it tries to get back above 0.5 and fails becomes very oversold and rallies okay right here this like i mentioned this was early warning that something was going on by dipping below 0.5 but then it crossed right back up through it okay this is where it becomes very bearish okay that was even before the second high on this descending triangle formed okay so that gave you early warning that this was a top and for about almost a month that was the high okay so that might have been a good good idea to get out there was pretty big volume here at the top the very next day okay and the stock begins to form a bearish descending triangle with support right here and this day on this red candle it closed below all support and went down a couple more days okay so the buy signal came soon thereafter and that was a nice run okay this looks kind of choppy this does look like a, a bearish chart pattern something like a head and shoulders with two left shoulders and stoke rsi gave warning right here that it was over the run was over it crossed back down through 0.5 and remained there for the rest of this period except for that one spike now let's take a look at this chart for applied materials a m a t look at the buy signals first okay right here i see a bearish divergence with the lows lower the highs lower but the stock goes up so there was kind of a war here looks like the bulls won because of the volume and when stoke rsi crossed up through the 0.5 line the stock did go up the next instance was right here it tried to get above all this resistance but bigger red volume came in sent it back down below 0.5 and the next buy signal came right here when stoke rsi crossed back up through 0.5 and the stock did go up okay then it becomes overbought here uh, here is another signal right here when stoke rsi broke above 0.5 and the stock rallied a few days unfortunately a shooting star showed up which is a re bearish reversal candlestick and it crossed right back down through 0.5 here's your next buy signal when stoke rsi crosses back up through 0.5 and the stock does a huge rally on this day here on the highest volume in a couple of months it closed at the highest high above all levels of resistance okay and runs pretty good green volume here it looks pretty equal overall but here's your reversal candlestick and the stock moves sideways the next RS stoke rsi buy signal comes right here when it crosses back up through 0.5 and the stock rallies the next big one comes right here just before the stock breaks out into blue sky territory closes right here above all levels of resistance on the biggest volume on the chart exactly what you want to see so that was a great buy signal you could have been in here at the 1550 range and it ran a dollar now let's look at some of the buy signals Stoke RSI is given on Sirius XM radio, ticker SIRI. Okay, the first big one came right here when Stoke RSI crossed up through 0.5 and the stock rallied for another two or three days. 
Then it becomes very bearish under 0.5. Here's your next buy signal when it crosses back up through 0.5 again. And again, the stock runs for three or four days. There's your reversal candle with the doji fully engulfing red over white body. The stock goes down and becomes almost oversold. Here's your next buy signal when it crosses back up through 0.5. That was the beginning of the bottom. This was a double bottom chart pattern and on this day it closed above pretty much all levels of resistance on this chart and the next day it did on almost as big volume. So that's exactly what you want to see is the biggest volume on the chart as the stock breaks out into blue sky territory above all levels of resistance.